TJ did not. May have been sleeping just a little bit. Boy, that's a bad time to fall asleep. White flag, one to go. Hornaday's got it when it matters. Sedgwick is underneath Corelli. They touch. Spun. Spun it. Sedgwick trying to pick up a position. White flag out. Will they throw the checker? Yes. The Ron checkered Hornaday. flag falls on Ron Hornaday. The checkered flag fell. The spin came on the last lap. Hornaday did it when it mattered. Congratulations to the Earnhardt family watching back at North Wilkes. And did we get our money's worth today from the NASCAR Craftsman Super Trucks? Unbelievable stories all the way back. To Still not around him. Now he finally gets around Swindell. Second place is a long way back. And as look the at white flag comes out for Ron Hornaday Jr. And Hornaday is looking at Roger Mears, Butler. Check that, not Butler, but the. Uh, the 58 of Wayne Jacks works to the inside of Jacks. This is going to be a great win. So Ron Hornaday Jr. is looking terrific as he comes to the final set of turns. Butch Miller has moved around Jack Sprague and moved into fifth place. And Ron Hornaday Jr. takes round number four of the NASCAR Super Trucks. Very, very smart drive for the day. And quite a few surprises here. Skinner finishes in third. The order is... Hornaday, and then Sedgwick, Bliss, and then Mike Skinner. Let's go to Phil. End of the year. He gets the white flag this time by for Ron Hornaday in his Papa John's Pizza, Dale and Teresa Earnhardt, NASCAR Chevy Super Truck. You see him moving up on Coach Jerry Glam. We're going to put Jerry one more lap behind. He said, hey, Jerry, come on. I'll make this race just a little shorter for you. <laughs> Let me on by here. Yeah, and the truck he's catching there is pouring some smoke out. Yep, see a little smoke there. But Hornaday comes off the corner. Down the front straightaway he comes. Smooth sailing in the checkered flag for Ron Hornaday. Third time this year. Led almost from start to finish. Gave up uh, the lead just a couple of laps for uh, for Joe Rutman. There you see his wife giving a celebratory hug to one of the uh, crew members there. Great job by Ron Hornaday. We'll be back to talk to the winner. When we come back, we'll give you the full field. What I was talking about is that Joe Rutman's going to definitely have to go off course a little bit and back on because he knows I'm sitting and watching and he's going to say, you know, man, I tried all I could do. <laughs> White flag waving over the field here at Heartland Park. Your leader in the Papa John 16 is Hornaday. There's Labonte in third in the five. Todd Bodine is fourth. And Skinner is fifth in the three as they work toward turn one. Last trip around. It's 1.8 miles here. Little smoke out of Hornaday's truck downshifting for that second corner. I think you're going to have to see a lot of smoke out of that thing to beat him. He, he's, uh, you know, Ron Hornaday is a, a good road racer. Yeah. You know, we've been coming to Sears Point you know, a lot in the, in the West Coast. And Hornaday's always one of the guys that wins that Saturday show. I believe he's won the Southwest Tour Race. If right, and he just dominates that thing. So uh, we know he's a great road racer. Terry Labonte in the five, up to third again. Todd Bodine is fourth. There's Skinner in the three. Your two leaders working through the S's. This is the final lap here at Heartland Park, the Heartland Tailgate 175. Ron Hornaday in the 16 leads him off the last corner. Looks like he's going to lead all but one lap. The lap to halfway. Hornaday off the final turn with Rutman right behind him. This is the battle for fourth. Skinner gives Bodine a bump in the tailgate there. The checkered flag waving. Hornaday is your winner in truck number 16. Ron Hornaday picks up the inaugural super truck visit to Heartland Park in Topeka. Very happy Hornaday crew on Pitt Road. The Dale and Teresa Earnhardt owned truck. The Papa John's Chevrolet. We'll be back to talk to the winner here at Heartland Park in a moment.
they love their stock car racing here in New Jersey, and they got to love super truck racing. What a finish. That is amazing. Ron Hornaday has got to be one of the smartest drivers in any form of racing right now. He saw a hole, he took advantage of it, and look what it did for him. That was so good, we got to show it to you again. But Ron Hornaday tosses that truck around. He's got a very aggressive style as he takes the white flag. Leaves nothing in that truck unused. And that's one reason the Dale Earnhardt tapped him to drive his super truck. Comes up the hill, that's for three. You know, he doesn't look like he's backed off any, but sometimes when you do, Dorsey, that upsets your rhythm so much. Well, they, you know, they yell at me all day to back off, and you're exactly right. I said, you know, when everything's working good, you don't want to maybe back off, start making mistakes. Fifth place battle, let's pick it up, because Toby Butler and Dave Resendiz are going to be back at it once again. Well, Resendiz was there. That might have been his best shot on this, the last lap to get Toby Butler. Yeah, he locked up at the top of turn two there, did a good catch. I'll tell you that, most time you do that, you go off into the tire wall. He gathered it up and lost a lot of ground. They were just a, a truck length apart. Butler's got uh, got Scott Legacy in his sights now, yep. but I don't think there's Ooh. enough time for him. Butch Miller catching Bill Sedgwick in the 75. They have a couple of passes here on this final lap. Ron, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> He's consistent. Yeah. yeah. That's his line, and I got nobody's taking it from him either. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He was a little easier off the corner there. He's, he has uh, yeah. he's picking the right front tire up there, but that's normal as you come through those S's there. The white and black flag going out to Steve Portengay. That smoke continues to pour. Three. Black and white, that's the checkers. No, not that one, not oh, yet. Oh. Two flags, one black and one white. Oh, I see. Here Wait. comes Hornaday down toward turn 11. This will be for the final time. Rod Hornaday in the Papa John's Pizza Chevrolet looking for his sixth victory of 1995 in this inaugural super truck season. Comes out of 11 to turn 12. The little left-hand kick heads for home. Checker flag. Good job. Real good job. Wally Donnellback comes home second, about four seconds behind. White flag coming up. Hornaday, ninth here a year ago. Looking for the gold, looking for the glory in Portland, Oregon. Mike Bliss, gonna have a great finish. Ball back, truck length. Hornaday has led 161 of 200 if he holds it through here. He can take the point lead. If he can bring it across, here he is out of four. Ron Hornaday's won it. Look at this bad line. Sedgwick making a move on the inside of Skinner. Not enough. Sedgwick in the 17 will wind up in fourth. Hornaday wins. He takes the point lead. For the state of Washington by eight points. He leads 161 of 200 laps. That's a beautiful job, Ron Brian. Hornaday, the third different winner in three Craftsman truck races and in 1996. Major series since back in the 70s. Hornaday throttles it down for that last lap. One at Portland, had the pole at Topeka. Look at Hensley take a shot at Skinner. The 30 moving in on the number three. Final lap to decide this one. And coming down and into the Craftsman Truck Series lead as well as winning here today at Portland. You can give that one to Ron Hornaday of Palmdale, California. Earnhardt Racing scores a win. Big one. We have 13 car trucks. Trucks in the lead line. Fly real quick. A couple of weeks ago, they had a Chrysler function. They put in a passenger seat to do VIP rides. And Daryl Gwynn, the injured drag racer, got to go and ride with Bickle at 150 mile an hour. Bickle said, man, there was a lot of work getting that truck ready, but it was worth it just to see the grin on Dale Gwynn's face. Well, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. And Skinner took a shot. That last turn one, extra place to make a pass, but he was not able to do it. Now he'll try to outbreak Nemechek in the interlude. Well, you gotta wonder if he's being coached at this point or if they're just letting Skinner do the business. My guess is the crew is staying out of Skinner's ear. He knows what he wants to do. He wants to get by is what he wants, but he just can't get that position. Nemechek is there. And he's standing. Joe Nemechek off the inner loop for the final time. Into turn 10, the right-hander opens up about a three-truck length interval from Skinner. Slides are off the corner. Hornaday heading for home. And Rich Bickle, a 
Joe Rutman several car links, truck links behind him, so he just decided to take it easy that last lap as here Hornaday comes. Skinner had another look at him. There was nothing there in the race for second spot. Hornaday off the final turn, headed for home, his ninth career victory. He will retake the point lead in four NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series road races. He's won three of them. There's the celebration from the Napa Chevy crew. And the Earnhardt plan will be happy about this when it was the phone call. All right, let's see. Sprague's got a pretty decent-sized lead right there coming off the corner. Joe Ruckman tried to time that start, and it didn't work. Jack Sprague looked in the mirror and said, if you're going to stay that far back, I'm going to start accelerating. He dropped him about two or three truck laps down the front straightaway there. He'll be coming to the white flag this time by. Here comes Ruckman. Got a good runoff turn, too. More today, not quite in the picture like he was on that last restart. Here goes Ruckman for the lead. Coming to the white flag, Ruckman trying the outside. Okay, it's down to this. Who's going to run fast down this front straightaway? We White. talked about horsepower. White flag. Joe Ruckman going for his third career win in the series. Sprague has the inside. Here comes Hornaday into your picture now. This is for the win. Look at this car. Truck go down that back straightaway. Jack Sprague is strong, but Ruckman fights back to the outside. Here they come, one more series of turns. Spray oh. gets into Rutman. Here comes Hornaday. Hornaday to the inside. Hornaday is going to win. The series point leader takes the checkered flag in New Hampshire. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. wow. Unbelievable. Here you have Jimmy Hensley against the inside retaining wall on the front stretch. Why am I not right surprised side. after six hours today? What a finish. What a finish for the series point leader. And remember, Skinner is going to come home in 27th spot. Is that ever going to spread the series point standings just a bit, at least as far as Skinner is concerned? Hornaday wins it all. I'm still right. White flag in hand. It's over. That's the uh, last lap flag falls on Hornaday. And the guy who loves this place so much, the guy they kind of nicknamed the King of Tucson when they came here in 1995, is going to cruise to his second victory in three years here on this racetrack. The Napa Chevy has won the Napa 200. Here's the race for fourth. The white flag is out, and Ron Hornaday has one lap to go. Jay Sauter right on the bumper of Rich Bickle. Bickle, the point leader. Hornaday last year. his 12th career win. Rich Bickle will finish second. A great run for the checkers there, and Jay Sauter gave him all he could. Sure did. Look like Rich Bickle still got him, but uh, it, it, it was about a fender width. Bickle will finish second, and he will hold on to the points lead tonight after a good run, but boy, no one had anything for Ron Hornaday and the Napa team. White flag is in the air. One mile to go. Gets by. He's in second. Craig. Bickle is third now. Yeah. Craig got on the outside and is losing position. Might lose another one to Rick Corelli here on this last lap. Turn three. Turn four. Well, they got enough fuel in that Napa brakes truck. Checkered flag. Ron Hornaday outlasts them all in the Milwaukee 200. Sauter is second. Strong run for Bickle, third, with Spray, Corelli, Wallace, and Range next in line across the stripe. A lot of smiles, and they're breathing again down at the Hornaday pit. How about it? What a move. How about it? If they get to him, it's going to be tough to get through. Mike is down to about a five-truck left lead right now for Hornaday as the white flag comes out. Ron Hornaday, Jr. trails Mike Bliss up to turn two into turn three. Here comes Rutman. Rutman's going to be there. It's a truck link difference. Rutman is there. Hornaday down to the bottom on Bliss. Sucks to the inside and wins it. 14th truck series win for Hornaday. Third time he's led every lap of the race. And Joe Rutman comes so close. Well, he had a run on that last lap, but there was nowhere to go as he came off a of turn four.
be able to catch that on RPM tonight. Hensley's on the gas. Here we go to decide it all. Indianapolis, three point park. White flag followed by the checkered flag. It is now a two-lap race. Who's got the fuel to make it? Hornaday gets the great jump on the restart. Rutman second. Sprague is third. Corelli is fourth. And Greg Biffle is fifth. And another Roush truck. And here comes Joe Rutman. He closes in. Look at the white flag. This time by. Rutman needed long runs. This is anything but that. In the long run, he was able to get two and alongside the leader, Wallace, but then they spun out together. This is a two-lap dash. Hornaday leads him past the white flag. The fuel light is reported blinking on Hornaday's truck. He's off one and down the short shoe. And Corelli's on the inside of the 24 truck of Sprague. Race for third. Corelli has it. Hornaday's truck continues to thunder. Rutman not able to do anything as they hit for the final turn. The checkered flag is in the air, and Ron Hornaday has won the Chevy Truck Challenge in amazing fashion with Rutman second. Wow, what an afternoon. That is a well-earned celebration right there, Benny. Man, I'm telling you, what a, a well-earned celebration. Right. And Ron Hornaday, oh, where happened? How many times he asked Fred how many laps to go? <laughs> There's Corelli. There's see the white line and the Budweiser sign. It's somewhere between that Budweiser sign and the white line. Somewhere in there is where Ron Hornaday is supposed to hit the accelerator. He's coming by, he's coming by, he's there. Somewhere right now he's got it, and he hits it right there. Right the Good restart. And did not get the big jump. Craig timed his restart pretty effectively, but look how that 16 truck speeds to the middle of the corner. He jumped off the corner for the white flag. White flag will fly this time by, and for Ron Hornaday, half a lap to home. The final lap of Bristol Motor Speedway, he's driving away from Jack Sprague as expected, and Hornaday on his 40th birthday. Father's Day weekend, claims the checkered flag at Bristol, and wins his 20th career NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race. And the process takes a small bite out of the point lead of Jack Sprague. And with nine of 27 races complete, the battle for the championship continues. The top three on the track are also the top three of the points. We'll be back to hear from the winner. Here comes Ron Hornaday. Never seen, we still got that battle going on. 
There they are, down into one, side by side. That is Houston fighting with Sprague. It's not going to happen. The heat has been responded to by Ron Hornaday into turn three. He's going to pour ice water on everybody's desires. we got lap traffic. That's Kevin Harvick. Not going to be a factor. Kevin stays high. Out of turn four. Round two belongs to Ron Hornaday with Jack Sprague close behind in second. Andy Houston will cross the line in third. And congratulations goes out to Sandy Jones. This is the new crew chief for Ron Hornaday in 1999. His victory. So there is your race winner. Another great battle between these two perennial rivals. We'll talk to Ron Hornaday when we come back. Way down on the inside. White flag this time by. Here we go. Six tenths of a mile for Ron Hornaday. The crowd is on its feet. It has been a soggy, soap-filled day, but it is going to be crisp thousand dollar bills a total of 100,000 of them coming to Ron Hornaday as he has got a two and a half second lead over Jack Sprague his arch rival coming across the line to win round number three of the NASCAR Crash and Truck Series. The battle for fifth right there Rick Corelli holds off the number one of Dennis Spencer. Position, but uh, got coming down for the white flag here. Final lap in the 2002 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series season. One to go. Ron Hornaday Jr. making only his second start of the season, winning his driver in NASCAR's Craftsman Trucks. Looks like he will sail on to win. There is Hornaday, and what a special day for IWX. They have team trucks. It looks like Hornaday in one truck will win the race. But here's the guy that has won the war of nerves. In turn three, out of turn four comes Ron Hornaday. Hornaday wins at Homestead. And here out of turn four, top of your screen, Mike Bliss becomes the 2002 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion. He spun the wheels there. As soon as he jumped in the throttle, he spun the wheels. That's going to allow Fiber Levine to pull away by about eight or ten truck lengths. But he is right on the back of Hornaday. We could see a pass for the lead here at the end, just like we did a year ago. Look at the tremendous run. Bobby Levine is getting off turn two, driving right up on the back, the back deck lid of that truck. Driving Hornaday. around the outside. Bob Hornaday on the inside. Bobby Levine. Coming up behind him as they go across the start finish line, the white flag fly, one lap of racing to go. It's a tailgate. He stays up on the back tailgate. And they're racing to turn one that way. Bobby's staying on the outside. He knows Ron. Look at him. He's pulling up beside him, it looks like. Ron Hornaday on the inside as they go down the back stretch. Here comes Bobby Labonte on the high side. It's Bobby Labonte trying to get by Ron Hornaday as they go to three and four. Ron drives it down in the corner. As they work their way through three and four, they're side by side, coming out of turn number four. On the high side, Bobby Labonte, they hit again. It's Bobby Labonte, Ron Hornaday, Ron Hornaday goes across the fourth finish line, just inches in front of Bobby Labonte. How could this race have been better than it's last been year? I think since Ron Hornaday's been in victory lane. This time by, the white flag will fly for Ron Hornaday, Jack Sprague, David Starr fighting for second. This is an awesome race. No way, unless Hornaday breaks, is he going to lose close to her. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have it here. We're going to have a spin on the front stretch, but right. it will be too late. The checkered flag Here's will fly. Ron Hornaday wins in Mansfield. I got all confused there. It was so, so exciting at the end, but what a great job by Jack Sprite holding off that persistent pressure from David Starr. David Starr had a, was right up beside him. If they, this race was one lap longer, he may have done something. Almost a second on lead back. over second place. Brendan gone. The battle is for second. As they go across the start finish line, the white flag comes out. Ron had an, uh, Rick Crawford had another great run off of turn number four. Had some momentum. See if he can clear Brendan gone. Brendan gone up on the high side. Rick Crawford. Going on the low side, Gone gets way too high in turn number two. That allows Johnny Benson to move up, take over third, and now it's a drag race for third down the back stretch. The battle for third continues between Gone and Benson, but out in front of the field, the stands up on their feet, and it will be Ron Hornaday winning in Kentucky. 
Brendan Gaughan just nipped by Rick Crawford for the second position. Second consecutive second place run for Rick Crawford. Another strong performance for Brendan Gaughan. Gaughan coming home in third, Johnny Vincent fourth, and David Reagan with a fifth place finish in Kentucky. NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion. The top three at Lowe's Motor Speedway. The fans are on their feet looking for a fantastic finish. I think from here to turn two is going to be where this race is going to be decided. Back into the gas they go. Hornaday, Almondinger, Todd Bodine. Behind them, it's Mark Martin with a good start. Matt Crafton and then Ted Musgrave goes to the outside. That's a battle for fifth early on. Almondinger's got to run off turn two. Hornaday dives low to block. Will our Almondinger go under him? Almondinger looking to the inside. He stays right on the back bumper of Ron Hornaday. They both hug the white line. Hornaday now moves up the racetrack. They come back into the quad oval. One lap of racing to go. The white flag flies from Lowe's. Hornaday's got a couple three truck links on him to see what Almondinger can do down at one and two. Nose to tail. Hornaday in front looking for his 30th win in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Almondinger behind him. Todd Bodine in third, fourth, Mark Martin, fifth, Ted Musgrave. Through three and four. Ron Hornaday comfortably out in front of the rookie A.J. Almondinger. And Ron Hornaday will win the Quaker Stake and Loop 200. Rick Wren. That was crew chief Rick Wren right there. Uh, hey, and uh, Ron hadn't let off yet. He wanted to make sure. <laughs> he wanted to make sure he won that race. What well, a what a textbook finish. Restart, hold your ground, and win the race. Yeah, you mentioned early on in the race what a strong truck this 33 was with Ron Hornaday. You know, we've seen. We've seen. In the left of your screen, the white flag comes out for our race leader. Ron Hornaday looking to make it 31 wins in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series on this, the 300th NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race. He's got less than a half a lap to go. Working on the bottom of the racetrack where he's been all day long, Ron Hornaday comes out of turn number four and he will win the AAA Insurance 200. Can he keep the gap close? Johnny Benson trying to hold on to the back foot. Flag in the air, one lap to go in ORP. Well, Ron's got a couple truck links right now. He can get through this corner clean. Then he's only got one more end of the racetrack. Look at Johnny close up. Johnny trying to keep close, but it's two truck links between he and Ron Hornaday as they go into three and four. Ron Hornaday will try to hold him off. He's closed the gap as they come out of turn number four. Hornaday in front of Vincent. Hornaday wins at ORP. Great job by Ron Hornaday. Good run for Johnny Benson, Travis Quapple, Rick Crawford. Ken Schrader gets the fifth position there. A top five for Kenny Schrader okay. here at ORP. Hey, Darnell stood up to all his challenges. Uh, Skinner's got to his back bumper a couple times and just not been able to get away. White flag. One lap remaining, and as they got the white flag, Ron Hornaday put Clay Rogers one lap down. So only 11 trucks on the lead lap as Ron Hornaday works his way down the back stretch. What a dominating performance for Ron Hornaday. Will be win number four here in 2007. Ron Hornaday coming into this race sat on the pole because of owner's points. We didn't have qualifying. He will get the checkered flag. He led the most laps and he wins at New Hampshire. Our first repeat winner at this racetrack. Eric Darnell prevails in that battle for second. Mike Skinner will finish third. Todd Bodine fourth. Mike Bliss a good run in fifth. Rick Crawford a good run in sixth. Ted Musgrave Apparently running everything is in seventh. Okay, he's back on the track. Here we go. Ron Hornaday about to get the green flag. He's great at restarts. Does he have enough fuel to make it all the way? Green flag in the air at Kansas. Fans are on their feet. Expecting a shootout, two laps of racing to go. Jack Sprague all over the back bumper of Ron Hornaday. Look at Mike Skinner go to the high side. Let him do something with Johnny Benson, his teammate. It allows Chad McCombie to move to the inside. Skinner trying to make the move on Chad McCombie. 
Goes to the high side. Does he clear him? He does as they come out of four. So that's another position. Skinner's been able to get to the top five. He's up in the top four now. White flag, one lap of racing to go inside a mile and a half. Run Hornaday, can he hold on? And does he have enough fuel to get to the end? Not trying to give anything to Jack Sprague as far as a little bit of a draft. Sprague looks to the outside. Will he slingshot off of turn number four? Coming out of four, Ron Hornaday looks as though he's going to have enough fuel, and he will win at Kansas. What an outstanding effort by Rick Wren and Ron Hornaday, that entire Kevin Harvick Incorporated team. <sighs> Ron Hornaday, Jack Sprague, Kevin Harvick Incorporated teammates, one and two. Pinned and gone past Chad McCombie coming off the fourth turn to grab the sixth spot away from Chad. It also passed Richie Waters right there. What's it going to take? We're about to find out. The green flag back in the air. Hornaday, Kyle Busch, one and two. Two laps to go. Good start by Hornaday, but Kyle's right there. Hornaday right on the bottom of the racetrack. Kyle Busch now. A truck link behind as he tries to close that gap as they go down the back stretch. What's going to happen with Bush? Kyle gets a little run on him right there. Hornaday's going to block. Going to make that truck wide. Hornaday stays to the bottom of the track, as does Kyle Bush. Right behind him, it's Johnny Benson looking for any kind of slip. White. One lap to go. Run Hornaday in front of Kyle Bush. See if Ron Hornaday can put another couple corners together. Ron Hornaday's best finish at Texas Motor Speedway in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series is four. Looking to improve on that, and the only way to make it better is to get to victory lane. Through three and four, it's looking good. Ron Hornaday will win his 35th NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race. Terrific job by Ron Hornaday, but Kyle Busch, what a job he did. Never sat in that truck till the green flag fell. Started at the very back of the pack. The truck was not good to start with. They worked on it, got a second place finish, but take nothing away from that 33 truck, Ron Hornaday. And he gets the white flag, one to go for Ron Hornaday. Well, let's take nothing away from Dennis Setzer and that entire BHR effort as well with the pole position today. And it looks like headed maybe towards a top two finish. Behind him, so strong this season. The 23 of Johnny Benson, the 30 of Todd Bodine, and the two of Jack Sprague. Those were your top five on the cross to start finish line. Now, just two turns remain. Ron Hornaday goes through three and four. The crowd is on their feet, cheering on. Ron Hornaday coming to his 37th career win. First win in Gateway for Ron Hornaday. Had a great battle for fourth. Todd Bodine and Jack Sprague went through three and four side by side, and they were side by side at the start finish at the start finish line. There's Ron Hornaday, battle. a half a second over Johnny Benson. Hornaday looking to make it back to back wins. He won a week ago. Now gets the white flag. He's under a mile away from another victory. What a nice cap to a, a very long week for Ron Hornaday this week, if he can pull this thing off. Johnny Benson hugging that yellow line, trying to hold on to second now, as the top three make their way down the backstretch. Ron Hornaday looking to add to his series record of wins. He's got 37 coming into this. He's going to add to it today. Coming out of turn number four, Ron Hornaday will see the checkered flag for the 38th time in his career. Great job by Travis Quabble finishing third, his best finish of the season. Eric Darnell with another top five, and Rick Crawford gets a top five in a place that he's won before. As this battle continues, Ron Hornaday crosses the start-finish line. White flag, one lap to go here at Texas Motor Speedway. Johnny Benson will have to make a big well, run on the outside of one and two to see if he can do something with Ty Bodine. Johnny Benson looking to the outside one more time.
Todd Bodine on the bottom. Johnny Benson moving to the outside as they continue to battle down the back stretch. Oh, Todd slid up the racetrack. It's going to open the door on the bottom for Johnny. Johnny Benson makes his move to the bottom. Coming out of four there. across the start finish line. Still Hornaday there. wins clear, in Texas. Clear. That Maybe not enough time now. as Hornaday works his way through three and four and coming back out onto the quad oval. There's the white flag. The Just has to survive this lap, and he's got the victory. 1.5 miles remaining for Ron Hornaday. See if he can make it back into victory lane. My point was they had him a lap down at one point, Rick. They had that, that, that 33 truck a lap down. He came back from that, made his lap up, and now sitting there leading the race late in the going. Last year, October, Texas, the last time Ron Hornaday was in victory lane. He's going to take the Longhorn Chevy Silverado back to victory lane at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Good job, Ron Hornaday. Good job, Rick Corelli. Great job preparing the trucks, guys. Awesome. Right along with Terry Cook, the final lap. Ron Hornaday has taken the white flag. Dennis Setzer still 12 trial truck links back. Brian Scott trying a last ditch effort to get second away. Ron Hornaday looking for his 41st win in the Camping World Truck Series, a continuing record. As it comes out of turn number four, Hornaday will be a repeat winner at the Milwaukee Mile. Every now and then the fastest truck wins. And that, this is certainly a case of that. Case today, the guy that had the dominant truck was able to bring it home. Stacy Copton was there. Ryan Scott also. right on his back bumper, as is David Starr behind him. Green flag back in the air. Here we go. Two laps of racing from Memphis. Here comes David Starr to the inside. David Starr trying to take second away from Brian Scott. Those three separate themselves. And they're able to hold on to their positions through one and two. Down the back stretch they go. Four today with Brian Scott right on his back bumper. A good race now for fourth and fifth. Matt Crafton and the 15 of Eric Almarola. Here comes the five of Mike Skinner. The white flag goes in the air. The battle for the lead. Two truck links between Hornaday and the 16 of Brian Scott. Oh, Here contact. comes Skinner. Ron Almarola on the inside. Almarola takes the position away from both Crafton and Skinner as he chases it up the racetrack. And now a clean racetrack in front of the 33. Hornaday will come to the start finish line and win his second Elvis Trophy in Memphis. Contact their middle of the pack. Mike Skinner, Timothy Peters made contact just before the start finish line. Mike Skinner got the sixth spot. Mike Skinner finishes sixth. Rick Wren celebrates with his team. Another win. Back-to-back -back wins in the 2009 season. And back-to-back -back wins here at Memphis Motorsports Park. He gained much on Hornaday. Does he have anything for Hornaday? The final lap. White flag goes in the air. Hornaday just in front of Skinner. Remember, both of these drivers have won here at Kentucky Speedway. This could be the first repeat winner at Kentucky Speedway. Will Ron Hornaday be able to do it, or will Skinner be able to get him? Down the back stretch they go. He gets a good run off that second turn. Here comes Skinner, all over the back bumper of Hornaday. Is it going to turn three? Skinner goes to the high side again. Keeping the momentum up. Skinner in the gas. Hornaday coming out of turn number four. Hornaday stays in front of Skinner. Hornaday will win again in Kentucky. Three in a row for the lap of the Riley Raceway Park. Ron Hornaday in front of Mike Skinner. Here comes Eric Alvarola on the inside of the aid of Dennis Setzer. Can Hornaday do it? Can he make history? And can Skinner be the spoiler? One turn remaining. Norm Benning can be a bit of a pick for Hornaday. But he's not even going to need that, I don't think, Phil. To the outside. Hornaday will set a record. Four in a row in the, in the Camping World Truck Series. What a race, huh? What a job. And Eric Almarola got that third spot from Setzer for a best career finish. Is that how you want to win your fourth in a row? I, I'll tell you what. I think the flag stand was even a little bit crazy there because they had thrown the white flag a lap early. I know. I watched the white flag. <laughs> and five, six, two to go, and I, I was trying to figure out what was going on. The flagman usually Dishes knows what's going on. Hornaday coming out of turn four. White flag in the air. One lap to go for history in Hornaday. 
This is big, folks. This has never happened before. You, you love seeing something. You love seeing athletes accomplish things that no one else has ever done, and that's what's fixing to happen with this 33 truck. Didn't go another mile. And for Rick Wren, too, all-time winner in a truck series is a crew chief if they can hold it off another quarter. They continue to battle for third. Colin Brown on the inside, Timothy Peters on the outside, but the real history is being made. Ron Hornaday will win five races in the row at the Camping World Truck Series. You know, I'm glad I was here tonight to see that, guys. That's a big piece of history right there. First time in NASCAR since 1971. Joins the likes of Richard Petty, Bobby Allison. They were the last to do it in 1971. Ron Hornaday, Rick Wren will be heading to victory lane for the fifth consecutive race. You gotta tip your head. Cruise control for Hornaday, looking for his first win in 2010. White, the white. There's the white flag. We won't have a green-white checker tonight. Ron just makes this lap. He'll be our winner. You know, he's got a decision to make, though. Are we gonna be able to get him a crew chief by Pocono? What are we gonna do about that? Stay tuned. He's got no pressure from behind. He'll no want pressure. to celebrate this before he worries about the next step in his career. 46th time. Ron Hornaday has been victorious in the Camping World right, Truck Series. Ron Hornaday, Hornaday is going to win again at ORP. Holding off Kyle Busch, one of the That's best the in the truck Hornaday. series. Go, Ron just put him away late in the going. Matt Crafton ends up with a great third place finish. Johnny Sauter races his way back to fourth, but it's a it's a case of, of Ron Hornaday and Kyle Busch. This ever important restart. How will it come out in turn number one? We're about to find out as the green flag's back in the air. A great restart for Hornaday. Up the racetrack goes Kyle Busch in one and two. Todd Bodine has his nose underneath the 18 until they go down the back stretch. Hornaday with a one truck lead as they come through three and four. Out of turn number four. White flag goes in the air. The next time by it will be official. Hornaday and Kyle Busch, one and two. Right now Hornaday with a two truck link lead. It looks like it's all his. Ron Hornaday looking for his first ever win at Martinsville Speedway. Will he hold on? Coming out of turn number four. Good, I want Martinsville. Hornaday, you yes much. you did win Martinsville. How about that? Did you hear well, that one today when he came off turn four? <laughs> How going. about that? I won Martinsville. What a great finish for Burn Ron it down, Hornaday. Rod. Burn it down. And he had to work for this Burn win. Out. And that will make Ray Dunlap statistics get all thrown out of loop. This is the restart. This is where it could be won or lost right here. Coming to the green flag, Johnny Sauter moves down the racetrack before he gets to the start finish line. We've seen this before. They could black flag Johnny Sauter for that move. We saw David Reagan get penalized in the Daytona 500 for doing that exact same thing. He cannot move out of his line until he gets to the start finish line. Johnny Sauter dropped down in front oh, of the 33. The field fanning out behind him. I thought David Mayhew was going to spin out. He was on the inside of Parker Klugerman, completely sideways. There's contact. P.K. Jr. is in the outside wall. He saves it. A little bit of contact saves it across the strike. White flag in the air. Johnny Sauter is leading, but will he be able to hold on to that spot? Where they posted the 13, they black flagged him. They're going to take this win away from Johnny Sauter. We saw it. It was obvious. He was way to the inside before they got to the start finish line. David Mayhew had his hands full with that two behind the 29 of Parker Kligerman. Through turns three and four for the final time. Coming out of turn number four, Johnny Sauter's in front. He's been black flag. It will be the win for Ron Hornaday. Win number three in Texas. Travis Quapple, hard Good into Johanna Long. Across the stripe. And the trucks continue to try to avoid but Johanna Long and Travis Quapple, hard contact at the start-finish line. Amazing finish. That's amazing. There's Joe Shear Jr. right there. Cannot believe it. Absolutely cannot believe it. And, and Phil, you brought up the clutch catch clamp. 4.9 seconds separate. Hornaday, who just takes the white flag, and his closest pursuer, Clint Boyer, 3.6 seconds back. Hornaday digging with everything he's got. Hey, let's give a little call here to Jeff Hensley if Ron Hornady pulls this thing off like it looks like he's going to. And a call to KHI. They had a fast truck and a slow one. They're going to run one-two with them. <laughs> Hornaday out in 
in front, going through three and four. He's going Looking to make it. to add to his record-setting Camping World Truck Hornaday Series career, Hornaday goes to victory lane again. One more lap, Bill. We did it. A second and a half, he beats Clint Boyer by. One more lap, and Clint Boyer is right there where, where Ron Hornaday is. 49 career wins as the battle continues back behind them, coming out of... And he saw the same thing we saw. He saw Ron pull out at the exit of the corner. White flag goes in the air. One lap remaining in Kentucky. Been a lot of different drivers winning that two truck this year. Will Ron Hornaday's name be added to that list? What about Ron stepping up and saying, I can drive this two truck to victory lane as well. He's got about 10 truck links on Austin Dillon as they head into three. Hornaday, two wins already this season. Texas and Atlanta, both mile and a half tracks. Will he add Kentucky to it? This will be his third win in Kentucky if he holds on. Coming out of four, Ron Hornaday wins career race number 50. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God darn, guys. You guys are awesome. Good pick. The second. Hornaday's going to see the white flag. One more time around for win white number flag, 51. Bud, white flag right here. And will he go two for two in this two truck? It will be a huge day for Ron Hornaday if he's able to stay out front. He'll be able to notch another racetrack as far as getting a win at las vegas motor speedway a place he has never gone to victory lane the final two turns coming out of turn number four ron hornaday is on a roll win number 51 thank you so much let me drive this thing this is cool <laughs> that's heartfelt right there too phil isn't it he said this is cool you know what that's like to get in something that goes like that awesome an amazing run once again for Ron Hornaday. Crafton finishes second.